Hey guys, this is Anubin Prince and I'm with you with another video and in this video the title is going to be Respect Your Body and Yourself Many times I see good professional men and women who think that they haven't got the time to pursue a proper relationship but yet with the high knowledge of self and also the high academic like it's a qualification also the you know beautiful job as well and probably beautiful home and probably even the beautiful community that they seem to want to live into but many of these men and women particular women in this in this video spend a great deal of time just sticking for one night stand or just for random sex with just random guys whether it be at the club whether it be you know probably at the grocery shop you name it just different places but they spend, like I said, a great deal of time establish themselves in their job, establish themselves into the company that they might be working with or for, but yet still, and their more emotional side of their life, they now in reinvest back that energy. I would assume, in my own humble opinion, a bit silly because why would you want to like invest so much into your career or your dream job or you know per se? invest like to go where you want to go on holidays and you know invest in other things but you still want to come to your personal life you now are willing to sacrifice everything just for like like I said one night stand or just random sex with random people why wouldn't you want to take the same time out and create a beautiful relationship if it's just one guy let it be in a mountain cold where you ain't got time to pursue a good relationship but the fact of the matter is that if you so highly, you know, I mean, gifted in terms of your academic, which is the brain, and also the job title which you're holding at the same time, and also the different benefits which you may have in working with that company or that job, then it should be in your own interest now to live a life which is like I say in that are parallel to that lifestyle which you display out there. So it, it seems like as if that kind of lifestyle versus your personal lifestyle is too world apart and it's just a shame because I know like of my own experience when I was like this before I settled down I'd be with people which she said okay I'll see you when I want to and stuff like that just for sex and I'm thinking like if you that highly might to gift good man why are you settling for this random sex with random guys and you have everything but they said they would never take the time out properly to go invest their time, their energy and everything into that proper relationship but they would just bring any random guy home into their home into their life, into their bed and literally having sex with them and I would assume that you would deem your sexual organ very important then if it's so important then, then why don't you safeguard it properly many women these days, like I say, if they was to be like told they have many abortions, they have many miscarriages, they have many different things happening to them and they kind of get rid of the story because it will reflect onto their job title, it will reflect as them in their family, you know what I mean? So, ladies and gentlemen, why don't you just get it together in that sense of the word and even if you said, okay, your job is come first or whatever you come first, but the fact that you invest so many time and effort into building your career and building that life for yourself, why wouldn't you want to go and choose a good person just to live that life but even if you're going to be a common guy a common man we should not even say have the same uh, as much experience or expertise as yourself but at least it's a decent person rather than just having this just random guy in and out of your life without any good um, purposes you just have him just because it's solely based in sex because if you like I said again if you respect your body then why would you do the random stuff you know the same way you respect yourself to not to do a job for less or, or like I said negotiate like a job for less money then why are you doing sex for this for sex and you know what I mean most of you guys getting old and you just only thing you know you just got good car good money good good everything going on for you but no good relationship so that part to me it kind of buffers me and I said it's like I said it's men and women but are particularly speaking in the, the women behalf because many times they are the same ones who say they are not good men but they're not looking for good men. They're just like looking for this like no string attached, you know what I mean, those kind of relationship. And I mean, like I said again, if you invest so much into you, then invest that same amount back into like acquiring a personal relationship with that person, 
put everything that you also put into that job, into that title, into that school, put it back into you, reinvest that in you. So you just go happen that one of these days you get caught and be pregnant. At least you, you had men, like I said, that guy may not have the same amount of qualification like you, but at least it's a decent catch, you know what I mean? So this is my two cents and that situation. And like I said, many people might see it and front open it and say, okay, well, they can do what they gotta do, but it's, it's just the same thing when if an ordinary person come in just do the same old same, but we are simply saying these are the cream of the crop people. So we would hope that they would be, could lead by great examples and so the ordinary people could follow. But they are doing the same thing like the ordinary guys or the ordinary girls. Just go out, catch that random guy, sleep with him and just so be no string attached, no emotion. And that's just your body. If you respect your body like that, why do you body like that? You know what I mean? Why does sleep with any old guy? Why does have any old guy come up into your house and just like occupy that space? And the same thing go for us guy. Why don't we just have random girls, you know, sleeping with, you know what I mean, giving away our energy and stuff like that? Why don't you choose a decent one? And if it doesn't work, at least you try. You know what I mean? But just to do it a certain way, you know what I mean? It kind of show like you have a two lifestyle living. You know, one you pretend to the society, and one which you can get it right with yourself in. So let us get that right with ourselves guys and also ladies and you know what I mean flip the script in that and if like I said go for it and try a good relationship if it doesn't work it doesn't work but just try to do it the proper way and then everybody else can come in and learn of it and like I said drop me a comment and also feel free to subscribe and feel free to share the info peace out